Emily with another brief grief activity from the team. When terrible things happen, like an important person dying in our lives, we can have so many different emotions and reactions. Learning how to cope, to face or handle such experiences in a safe and healthy way is important and worth the effort. Even though it can be hard, learning ways to cope can help us continue to do the things we need to do, the things we can't avoid doing, and the things we really want to do. When learning how to cope with all of our emotions and experiences, it's helpful to understand that there are different ways we may react. Our bodies may have a physiological reaction, like a racing heart or that feeling of a tight chest when we're anxious, overwhelmed, scared, or full up with emotions. Cognitively, with our brains or our thoughts, we may think that no one understands us, worry about what other people are thinking, or struggle with some painful memories. We also react behaviorally, through our actions, what someone else can see we are or maybe are not doing. For example, when we're feeling big and hard grief feelings, we may yell at someone when we don't mean to, have a hard time doing our schoolwork, or isolate ourselves from our friends. Finding a couple coping strategies for each of these reactions can help us take care of our whole selves, all of our parts, and also gives us different paths to try and help ourselves when the things that usually comfort us aren't working. Understanding what type of reaction we're having gives us a clue to know what might work best. For today's brief grief activity, we'll be creating a coping toolbox, so we have a variety of options that provide comfort and help us when we're experiencing hard, new, or uncomfortable feelings. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a box to decorate. Glitter, paint, glue, old magazines to cut up, pictures of your person, or pictures that bring you comfort, and any crafting material you have to use. To start, we're going to decorate our box. Use this as a chance to get creative. Take your time to make your box reflect your individuality. Individuality means you are the unique person you are. This may include decorating your box with your favorite color, quotes, songs, pictures of people in your life, memories that make you feel happy or safe, and may include your name to show whose coping toolbox it is. Now that we have decorated the box, it's time to do some thinking and fill it with different coping tools. Everyone's grief is unique because we all have different relationships with the people who have died in our lives. Coping is similar in that different things work for different people, and what works can change throughout our lives. There will be moments and challenges that will require us to try various coping skills. This means that everyone's box is going to look and be filled with things that are unique to them. All of the items or activities we put in our coping boxes will be tools to help us cope with our grief. Thinking about the many ways that we experience grief can help us create options for the different reactions we learned about. When we feel our body needs help calming down, things like breathing exercises, tissues, grief buddies, or bubbles may be useful. Our brain may need help to cope with unwanted thoughts or images, so things like a journal, coloring pages, art supplies, playing cards, or pictures can be helpful. Lastly, it's helpful to have some ways to show the people around us when things are feeling hard. Maybe holding a stress ball, squeezing Play-Doh, having a sponge ball to safely throw, a pillow to scream into, or a list of people you know you can talk to will help share what you want them to know. Let them know this is a sign of when things are hard for you. Sharing what tools you've chosen to put into your coping box with people important to you can help them learn more about what helps you in tough moments, and may even give them some new coping strategies they want to try out. Learning how to cope is important work in our grief. It takes time and bravery to understand the many reactions we can experience and learn what may help us in all our different moments and experiences. Today's activity was adapted from the Children and Youth Grief Network Handbook and created by the Helping Us Understand Grief program. Our center is a member of the network and encourages you to follow their social media for other great content about children's grief in our community. The website is linked in the description below. We would love to see the coping toolbox that you created or any of the other brief grief activities. You can share pictures with us at art at griefcenter.org. Thanks for being with us today. We know that being with grief feelings can be hard, especially if you're feeling alone. So remember to reach out to a caring adult if you need support or kids help phone at any time. Thanks for watching.